Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we talk about haptic feedback support for the iPhone 11. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I talk about iPhone 11 and haptic feedback support. So if you guys don't know what haptic feedback, basically what it is is it's those little vibration touches that you feel when you uh, are typing on the keyboard or when you're uh, moving from screen to screen, depending on what app you're using, okay? So the iPhone or the iPhone 11 specifically uh, has had uh, some somewhat of uh, feedback support or haptic feedback support for a while now, right? But we've never really seen it in the keyboard so uh, that's one thing that kind of uh, kept me away for I from iPhone for so long because little things like that are what make a difference for me as a user on this on you know a smartphone so going from there you know I had Android phones that had the support for so many years and since, since as early as ice cream sandwich right or even prior to that uh, Android 2.2 Froyo right uh, but again iPhone for whatever reason just never implemented it into their uh, QWERTY keyboard or whatever you want to call it their English keyboard is so to speak so I've been actually using Gboard for the most part on an iPhone uh, for the past couple years ever since the iPhone 10 came out and ever since it had some support on the uh, Gboard side I've always uh, transitioned over to Gboard just because I always thought it was a better keyboard and you can use uh, swipe features on it etc not to say that you can't use swipe features on the iPhone 11 or prior iPhones now I mean now now it supports that feature uh, but the fact is, you know, I, I wasn't getting haptic feedback. So again, haptic feedback is, you know, when you press the keyboard and you're feeling little small kind of vibrations uh, when you're typing this out. And I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Probably not. But the fact is, like, I'm getting little uh, vibrations every time I'm hitting the keyboard now. So, so for those of you who do not know how to activate... Uh, haptic feedback on your iPhone 11 I'm going to show you how so first of all you have to download the Gboard app and once you do that you have to go into your settings so let me find uh, let's find the Gboard app it's going to be right there right let's see if I can get that to autofocus there all right so once you once you get into the Gboard app let's click that all right let's go ahead and click it and then let's tick it all right so from there okay so you're gonna go to keyboard settings right and you're gonna see a huge list of items here that are going to kind of you know give you what 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 you can turn on and turn off so from gliding to emoji suggestions to voice input and again uh, you know auto capitalization everything there there is a little section uh, towards the bottom let's find it and maybe maybe I'm losing it here and it, it, right here it's gonna be right where my thumb is that. and again let me let me see if I can right where my the tip of my or the tip of my finger is at and again excuse if there's autofocus issues but it says enable again uh, enable uh, haptic feedback on key press so again for the longest time and let me get out of there I I was missing out on this feature and it was one feature that I kind of really hated about the iPhones let me get out of there so the, the lighting doesn't look so horrible uh, but again this is just a quick video for you guys who are interested in haptic feedback on on the iPhone uh, or any iPhone in general now that you have um now that we have this feature I'm kind of uh, really excited about it and again I don't know how long this feature is out it might have been out for a while for those of you who uh, like to bash in the comment sections you know I just discovered this on the Gboard area uh, it might have already been around for a while now but for those of you guys who are subscribers to my channel uh, etc for those of you guys who are followers of my videos that have the iPhone you know haptic feedback is a huge thing for me just because again like I I'm a huge fan of of that so again enabling haptic feedback again you know you have what's called a 3d touch where you know if you long press on something you're still going to feel stuff when you're transitioning from little apps to apps so if i hold this down i feel a little bit of a vibration so apple has somewhat had this feature for a while since they had the 3d touch or force touch whatever you want to call it but they were they, they never really integrated that uh, into the keyboard which it was just something that was mind-boggling to me so again guys uh, this is just more of a i wouldn't call it a tutorial video Video, but more of a hey the feature is out there now video and again you can only use it on Gboard uh, I tried checking the settings for the uh, stock uh, keyboard for iOS and it does not have that feature it does not give you the option if someone can tell me that it does please comment below and let me know but again guys if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys like my channel go ahead and subscribe and as always thank you all for watching we'll see you guys next time